hello guys welcome back today i am going to start a new course about learn industrial automation with factory io and ladder diagram you don't need to buy any kind of plc for that uh, we are going to start with a small conveyor system until you are able to make this kind of factory uh, whole system i hope you will able to make this factory io is a great software for learn plc for beginners there are many pre-built industrial parts and machineries available here you just need two software one factory io and the other one is win sps s7 for programming and these are premium software purchase this from their official website or just to rent it i think you understand money matters okay without further let's get started open factory io software click new search for six meter conveyor and drag it to the floor okay now search emitter for emit boxes press okay press b for move vertically place this emitter at the start of this conveyor that's it now take a remover and place it at the end of this conveyor okay now it's time to make a switchboard for that take a column first and drag it here and a switchboard press b for move vertically and place it here okay that's it oh no some left i think that's okay okay now search for start button place it here and take a stop button place it here take a look okay that's it now go for file and driver or press press f4 to a keyboard select mhj for your win sps software this is the pinout of plc take start button drag and drop this at the start first i0.0 and stop button to i0.1 okay and uh, take a roller conveyor to output one or q0.0 that's it our driver is ready open win sps s7 software it will take some time and now create new solution name it as you want i'm naming it conveyor project one and give a file destination folder i'm giving it a document win plc 7 okay now click create it will go to the interface of win plc uh, click ub1 the green one okay and this is the program interface there are three types of language functional block structural text and ladder diagram use which one you like i use ladder diagram for my factory simulation and click windows arrow key to make these two software side by side oh, sorry windows arrow key to make this side by side okay that's great you see two of them software driver now it's time to name these uh give them the name start button remember the address should be same as the driver i 0.0 you see and uh, stop button okay it's i 0.1 and conveyor belt sorry ruler conveyor as q 0.0 okay that's it the naming part it's time to program 
take a normally open contact and give this address to I0.0, .0 the same as a start button and take a output contact and address it Q0.0, .0. that's it, okay. Now I make this simple program, uh, click PLC, send all blocks, yes, override, yes. Now program is uploaded to the PLC, click run and uh, click here and run. Okay. Now program is in this factory, see, when you press the factory is running. Uh, now I am clicking memory monitor mode, you will see the changes in this program. When I click, it running. Uh, now I will make a latch, for latch I need a normally open contact. Uh, for I, you have to make this contact address as same as output Q0.0. .0. This is called internal relay. Click the memory, oh, sorry. First send this block to the factory software. Yes, yes. Now program is uploaded. Click monitor mode that you can see the changes that's it now when i press one time it stay energized by this internal relay contact this is called latch now i will use stop button that you can broke the latch take a normal open contact and address is as I0 point, sorry, 1, and the address of the stop button, okay. Program is ready, send all block first, yes, okay, overwrite, and click the run button and turning on monitor mode. Click run to the PLC, okay, factory is running and when I click stop, factory is stop, start and stop. You will see the changes in this program. When I press stop, it broke the latch. Okay, that's it. That's the programming. Now it's time to use uh, start and stop button light, yes. lights. Start button light to Q0.1 and stop button light to Q0.2. And name it in this toolbar. Start button light to Q0.1, okay. Stop button light to Q0.2. Okay, now I will show you how to add more network to the programming. Click this. Okay, new network is added. Now take a output coil parallelly mm. oh don't need this press this output coil okay that's it and uh, give this address as same start button light okay 
Now take a normally close contact and give the same address as conveyor Q0.0. And take a output coil and give this address as same start stop button light Q0.2. Okay, programming is ready. When the conveyor is on, this stop button will stop. This light will stop. Now see the simulation. Send all block. Yes. Okay, click run and turn monitor mode on. Okay. Turn run mode. Uh, you see, when I press the start button, when the conveyor is running, the green light is on and the stop button coil is off. And when I press the stop button, and the factory is stop and stop but start button coil is off and stop button light is on that's how it work fail this save these files in the next tutorial you will learn about latch and unlatch and uh, that's all for today uh, stay with us and this is Saiful Islam Shagor here you are watching and don't forget to subscribe.